Sometimes pretend we're wise But when you're young and foolish Only laughter should fill your eyes The careless years They say That when young love disappears, how sad is the song. But as time goes by, darling, you and I will find them strange as it seems. You don't remember me. I left town. Oh, I remember you all right. We haven't touched anything in the room. But your month's up in three days, and I want you out of there by then. No, I wasn't going to stay. I just wanted to get my things. You're welcome. Harriet, why should you deliberately go and spread a rumor like that about yourself? Boys choose to talk. I can't stop them. Well, you started it. Well, you've even got the girls saying that you neck like mad. Doesn't that sound intriguing? Oh, that Harriet. She's my type. I sure do like the way she holds herself. She's pretty nice. It's a competitive society. Don't worry, Emily. Nothing will happen to spoil your party. I don't care what you've heard about Harriet. I don't like crashing parties. Oh. Well, I think it's worth it. When are you going to grow up? Thank you. 
Bob Williams crashed. <laughs> I wish they could crash right on their faces. Well, at least we have two extra men. I am. Hello. Hi, Harriet. I believe this is my dance. Would you like to dance? No, oh, thanks. about it. We've been around together in school since junior high. Fate suddenly brings us together. I'd help Emily do the dishes. I'll fix that. I've got friends in this world. It was nice of you to stay and help me with the dishes. Oh. Uh, I have to tell you, Emily, I was doing this as a favor for a friend. Oh. Well, I can do the rest of myself. You don't have to stay any longer. Oh, no, I'll finish. I'm almost through. Where do I put the garbage? Oh, you put it in the garbage disposal. What do you do with it at your house? Oh, we kick it around till it gets lost. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, why do you crash parties? You don't seem to like them very much. Well, that was another favor. But I enjoy the party. I wasn't very friendly. I don't blame you for not dancing with me. I would have if you'd asked me again. All right, I'll ask you. Jerry, this is stupid. It sure is. Well, I guess I'd better be going. It's about time, huh? You know, it's nice the way your folks stay out when you're having a party. My old man sits around the house in his underwear all the time. It's funny, but all the time I've seen you at school, I never knew where you lived. I never knew your old man sat around in his underwear. Oh, he doesn't. I was just saying that to my conversation. Well, hi, Miley. Hi. How was the party? Fine. This is Jerry Vernon, my mother and father. How do you do? Hello, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. How do you do, Mr. Meredith? Well, I see the furniture's still here. Oh, we didn't get around to breaking it. <laughs> well, I was just going. Nice to have met you. Nice to have met you. I'll see you later, Emily. Good night. Good night, Jerry. Good night. Good night, Jerry. Was the party fun? Oh, it was wonderful. Fun. Well, he seems like a nice boy. Miley? Oh. You're going to ruin your eyes reading in that light. What's so interesting? Subconscious desires. I borrowed it from Harriet. Oh, I have to read it. I'm afraid you'd be shocked. I bet I would. <laughs> Did you win in bridge? 
Oh, I came out even. Women are awfully boring, Miley. Oh, you always say that, but you go every week. Well, they're my friends. What's the matter? Well, I never thought I'd see such words in print. Oh, let me see. Never mind. Oh, heck, if you think that's bad, you should hear the talk that goes on in school. Well, just so long as it's only talk. Well, it's not. Oh, Mommy, don't look so worried. I'm not worried. I'm curious. Well, a lot of girls neck because they think it's expected of them. And, of course, boys have nothing else on their minds. I used to wish that I was like that. Well, a suit of armor would come in handy sometimes. <laughs> Helen? Helen, where are you? I'm in Miley's room. Look who I brought home. Let me take your hat, Harry. Hi, honey. I'll get it. Hello? Just a minute. Miley, it's for you. Well, oh, hi, Harry. How's my baby sister? Mm -hmm. I'm surviving. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. Where's Martha? She went to Palm Springs. Then you're going to stay for dinner. That's what I came for. Come on, I'll fix you a drink, Harry. Good. I am a little surprised. Yes, I'm fine. Well, I guess I can. All right, I'll be ready. Bye. You going down to meet Martha? I have a business luncheon first, then I'm going to drive down. Get there about 3 o'clock. I just hate to fight that traffic, that's all. Oh, buddy. Hi, Hi, honey. Hi, Daddy. Who was that? Thank Jerry you. Vernon. Oh? Oh, the boy that was here the other night? Some of the kids are going on a beach party, and he asked me to go along. That sounds fun. I'd better get dressed. Beach party? You be careful. That ocean can be pretty rough this time of year. I'll be careful. Where are you going? Out. To a party, I guess. Going out tonight, Jerry? Yeah. Hey, don't you ever leave that jacket at home? Well, what for? I don't know. You just might, that's all. Women like these jackets. With this jacket on, they're like putty in my hands. Good night, Pop. Charlie. Uh, about your kid brother. Uh, I, I don't like what's been going on here. Your mother says she's been finding lipstick in his handkerchiefs. Oh, don't worry about that. I talked to him about it. Oh, good. I told him to use Kleenex. Well, look, I'm serious. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll take care Wait of it. If you're going out with Bob, I don't want you to be a cheapskate just because his old man wants to use Starlight. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> All right, in you go. Hammer. Jerry! Stop! Right? Oh, I'll get you for this. Here comes a big ah! <laughs> Come on, grab your sweater. We'll run down the beach and get warm. Here's your towel. Thanks. <laughs> Let's go over here and build a fire. Why do you folks call you Miley? I said it when I was learning to talk. It's stuck ever since. It's kind of a funny name, but it fits you. Why? I don't know. It just does. Oh, it's so beautiful here. I love it when the stars are so bright. And I don't know if I can make it. Everything's riding on this in my family. My father's got $400 saved up for me. Well, if I flop on this... You're just unsure of yourself like we all are. You won't fail. Um, 
Well, I hope you're right. Do you want to go back to the others now? Yes, I think we'd better. All right. I'm glad we talked like this. Emily? Would you like to go out with me again? Yes, I'd like that. Neither of us has done our homework or anything. Well, we can do it in the morning. But you said yourself you should study more, and you're worried about it. All right, we'll go home. I feel the same way you do. Jerry until he gets good and ready. It's obvious. She used to listen to me. Not anymore. Well, that's what happens according to modern psychology. Oh, stop it. I hate modern psychology. Look, why don't you take a sleeping pill? I hate sleeping pills. They're a bad habit. One a night is not habit forming. Just can't be away from me for a moment. Charles, I'm still worried about this weekend. Do you think we're doing the right thing, leaving her alone? Ellen, we've been over this five times. She doesn't want to go to Palm Springs with us. Well, then maybe we should forget about going. I thought we agreed that if Emily thinks we don't trust her, it would make things worse. I know, I know, but I, I just don't like leaving them alone. They might... Well, if... That's what they want. They don't have to wait for an empty house. Here she is. Why don't you go say goodnight to her? No, no, I... I don't want her to know we've been waiting up. Now you know best. I'll talk to her tomorrow when we go shopping. Mm. Now, here's a lovely pure silk. What do you think, Mother? Oh, that's not right for you at all. Could we see that party dress you had advertised on Sunday? Oh, yes, of course. You were out pretty late last night. I thought you were probably waiting up for me. Oh, no, I just happened to hear you coming up the stairs. Here it is. Yes, she'll try that on. Fine. Come this way, please. Mother, you really don't like Jerry very much, do you? Well, of course I like him. Just doesn't look to me like the object of a deathless passion. Wish you wouldn't make fun of me. Oh, darling, I'm not making fun of you. I just want you to see that it isn't as serious as you seem to think it is. How do you know how serious it is? How serious is it? Not sure. 
You used to laugh at girls who went wild over boys. It's not like that at all. Darling, you have to be objective about these things, because if you aren't, you can get hurt. Now, it's a simple thing for a boy, but for a girl, it's different. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know just what you mean. But I can't help the way I feel. I like it. Makes me look at least 20. It's real pretty. Come on, honey. Let me try it on. Maybe I can wear it, too. Marley, what did you mean just now when you said you couldn't control your feelings? Marley? Did you want to answer me? I didn't say I couldn't control them. I said I couldn't help them. And you're out with one boy as much as you've been. I don't believe you're just holding hands and talking about the weather. You don't have to keep warning me all the time. Darling, I just don't want you to be hurt, that's all. Looks better on you than it does on me. <laughs> well, I can't say I look exactly 20. Maybe only 19. Mom, I never knew I'd have such an awful time fighting my feelings. Darling, growing up, you have to learn to handle your emotions. It's so hard growing up. My folks left about an hour ago. I hope they enjoy Palm Springs. I'm fixing dinner. Hey, Em. I brought you these. Oh, Jerry, I was so excited I didn't even notice. It's just a dozen. They're lovely. We'll put them in the center of the table. A cheese souffle, it's murder. Need any help? Oh, all right. You can fix the flowers. And then when you finish, you can sit down and read the paper like a tired old businessman or something. I never thought we'd make it. It's so funny to look at you across this table. I can't hardly even see through all these doodabs. Want some more steak? No, thanks. Come on, you're not eating. I'm too excited to eat. What are you excited about? We're just a couple of old subtle characters. <laughs> I mean, I didn't burn anything. And for the first time, you must admit that is quite an, an accomplishment. You have to admit I set a pretty nice table. Let's not go with a bunch tomorrow, Em. We can just sit around here until your folks come home. They'll probably be back early, but... Tonight belongs to us. It's funny, isn't it? I never knew people really said things like that. Only when they feel the way we do about each other. It's a pretty house. We've lived here ever since I've been a little girl. 
And have you always had the same room? I'd like to know what your room's like. I'd like you to. This is just the kind of room I knew you'd have. A lot of things are from way back. Like that picture of Joan of Arc. I've still got things in my desk from when I was in grade school. It's funny the way you keep things from way back. Harriet and I used to write letters to each other all the time when we were little. What did you say? Oh, about school. Life, teachers, and boys. You know, Joe, you've never written me a letter. I'll write you one now. to understand. I love you. And it's because I love you that I don't want it this way. It's not like the other kids that don't care one way or another. To them, it's... It's, it's just for kicks. But for me, it's too real. Jerry, please understand. I think we should get married. I don't know, Jerry. We're so young. I'll never feel this way about anyone else. I want you to be my wife. I can't go on seeing you without us being together. We can't go on like this and we know it. Marry me? All right, Jerry. I'll go home now and tomorrow we'll make plans.
I'll be through in a minute. You got home late last night, huh? I asked Emily to marry me last night, Dad. I wanted you to be the first to know. Thanks. Sort of a, sort of a shock. Yeah. You can imagine how I feel. Yeah. Well, aren't you going to congratulate me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I guess so, sure. sure. You're not going to try and stop it? No. No, no. Only, only there's no big rush. You're not getting married tomorrow or something. You don't have to get married, do you? Oh, no, Paul. Well, then there's time to talk. Uh, everybody gets married sooner or later. It's, it's just hard to adjust. Sure. Oh. Uh, don't tell your mother yet. I, I mean, I don't want you to tell her like you told me. Uh, let me handle it. I'll tell her. Understand? Sure, all right. Yeah. Well, clean up. We'll, we'll have breakfast. We just got bored in Palm Springs. We decided there's no place like home. We thought you'd still be sleeping. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to make a great big breakfast. All right? How's Miley? She's fine. Well, like I always say, there's no place like home. <laughs> Hi, Pop. She's been missing. Maybe it's in the distributor. Well, I'm going to clean the plugs, I think. All right. Uh, Jerry, leave that a minute. I, I want to talk to you. Did you tell Mom? Well, no, I, I've been trying to think it out in my own mind first. Are you going to see a girl tonight? Yeah. Well, you ought to bring her over. I mean, we should get to know her. I've never even said hello to her. Do you realize that? Yeah, I know, but, you know, usually the guy calls on the girl. There hasn't been any chance. Don't worry, you'll see plenty of her. I remember how I felt when I was your age. I have respect for it. 1929. I was 18 then, graduated from high school back in Kentucky. I remember saying goodbye to your mother when I went away looking for work. I went clear to Alaska trying to find a job. I knew she was waiting for me. So she waited eight years. That's how times were then. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, now, at least it's better. Your girl won't have to wait so long. No, Emily and I don't want to wait at all. You better never have anything like 1929 again. Just the same, you learn from it. Money's a whip. Sometimes it gets to be like a whip on your bare back. Well, why do you keep going back over that? Things are different now. It's easy to get a job. Yeah, but what kind of a job? Any kind. Oh, no. No, not any kind. Kind where you make something of yourself. 
That's why I've done what I could to have something in the bank for you. When you go to tech. Are you not thinking of giving it up? It depends on whether my grades are good enough. Well, you're not studying as much as you were. So what? So what? So what are you going to do? Get some two-bit job and stick to it your whole life? No, I'm not going to do that. Well, that's what you'll end up doing if you don't get some sense Look, in your head. Look, Pa, there's no sense in getting sore. You think you know all the answers, don't you, Jerry? Just because... I'm sorry, Dad. You say you know how I feel, but you don't. I love her. That's what's important. Yes, Mom. I found these gloves in Palm Springs. Thought they might match your new scarf. Thank you. They're lovely. I wanted to give them to you earlier, but you went out so quickly I didn't have a chance. Where's the scarf? It's in the top drawer. Mother? I've been wanting to talk to you. Maybe now would be a good time. What I wanted to say is... Molly. I couldn't help seeing this. It's all right, Mother. It's not all right. We leave you in the house alone one night and you let him stay? He didn't stay. How could you? How could you? You've just thrown yourself away. You've forgotten everything we ever taught you. Stop it, Mother, please. We depended on you. We always trusted you. Then why don't you trust me now? Well, you just told me that you and I didn't Jerry... tell you anything of the sort. Miley. Nothing happened. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just acting stupid. We intend to get married. You what? Jerry and I are going to get married. Oh, yes, well, someday possibly, but we don't want to feel that it's settled. Why, well, you're going to meet lots of young men when you go to college. I don't know if I'm going. We're planning to get married right after graduation. But that's right away. We don't want to wait, Mother. On account of this? That's part of it. I love you so much I can't stand it. I need you. Don't say no. Don't! Oh, that's a fine reason for getting married, because you and some boy... That's only partly true. That's all there is to it, and that's no reason for throwing yourself away. Is that what you think of Jerry? I'm not thinking of Jerry. I'm thinking of you. You can't do it. We know what we're doing, Mother. Jerry can get a job. For the summer, anyway. And then we'll see. And about the wedding, we... We don't want anything big. Just a few people and no reception. But, darling... You're not mature yet. I mean, well, your personality, it's growing and changing, and that's wonderful. But you don't really know what you're like, and well, you'd be giving up so much. I don't see how it could last. Well, I think you'd break up in a year or two. You've got it all figured out. You can see for yourself. Look what's happened to these young marriages. Just look around you. Some work out and some don't. Miley, darling, promise me you'll wait. Oh, Mummy, I can't live my life for you. I'm not asking that. That's not fair. <laughs> That's just what you're asking. <laughs> let me alone. Just let me alone. <laughs> But your mother didn't mean what she said. Maybe it's true, Jerry. What's true? Well, we did decide to get married suddenly, like it was just because... Well, you know, because we wanted to be together. Well, yes, we wanted to be together. But that's nothing to be ashamed of. That's what marriage is. 
I'm not ashamed, Jerry. I know one thing. We love each other. And that means what we do will be right. Isn't that so, Em? Oh, Jerry, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't ever want you to be sorry or unhappy. All right, we'll wait a little while. Till we can get everything all straightened out with our parents and everything. We'll wait. I love you, Jerry. Harriet, we've got to study. I'm sick of it. I don't feel much like studying either. I guess we've both got things on our minds. I don't know why Bob isn't here yet. He said he's going to pick me up at nine. It's only five after. I know, but we don't have very much time. I've got to be home by 11 and we... Emily, I'm awfully mixed up in a way. I know how you feel. Have you really settled it with Jerry that you're just going to go along like this? What else can we do? In this world, you're in trouble if you do, and you're in trouble if you don't. There's always something wrong somewhere. Bob said he just couldn't stand it anymore. That he quit seeing me. Every time we'd go out on a date, we'd, we'd argue. So I just stopped arguing. You think I'm wrong, don't you? Yes, I do. You're being very moral and all that, but I don't know if what you're doing to Jerry's fair. You're giving him a rough time. You're saying that he's just got to marry you. I'm not saying that. Well, that's what it means, and he knows it. There's Bob. I was scared to tell you, Emily. I thought you'd be so shocked. I guess I really am. They give you feelings, and yet you're not supposed to have them. Goodbye, Emily. Bye. It's nice, isn't it? It's spring. You know what happens to people in spring? Jerry, why are we always arguing about the same thing? Who's arguing? Every time you look at me, you're arguing. I don't know what to do. Well, do you think I can stand it? Maybe we'd better stop seeing each other. Jerry. Night.
Mamali. Well, I didn't expect you so soon, honey. Come in, Aunt Martha and Uncle Harry are here. Hello, Molly. Hello. We've been making bets on how late you'd get home, but you're earlier than any of us thought. And wait till you I hear the news. Martha. I'm getting away from the office for 10 weeks. The whole summer. I just got it settled today. I'll have some stuff to do for our branch office in the east. The three of us are going to drive to Connecticut. We'll leave right after you graduate. But I don't want to be away for the whole summer. Now, I think a little time away from Jerry would make things easier for both of you. Uh, people who love each other can be separated. That's one test of love. That is the way you look at it, isn't it? Testing us. And then you decide whether we meet the test. Miley, you're very young. But... I'm not. I'm a woman. <laughs> All right, it's funny. I guess it's not very grown up to make a scene like this. I'm sorry. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Emily. I'm sorry about last night. So am I. What's the matter? Dad's got a long vacation, and, and we're going east for the whole summer. You're not going. I think maybe I will. You said yourself it's better if we don't see each other. Well, they're just trying to pull us apart. We're late. They're just taking you east to get you away. Jerry, it's not them, it's us. What about us? We can't go on this way. Emily. These fossil remains teach us a great deal about primitive man. The skull is heavy. The forehead is very low. The brain is small. The bones are very thick. What thoughts trouble the brain of this man who lived in the dim past? I've often wondered how much humanity has changed in all these thousands of years. Man's brain has grown a little, but is that enough? All right, you can have five minutes now to take the rest of those notes. of Washington's army during that terrible winter of 1777. Those ragged men endured cruel hardships, but they were sustained by the spirit of freedom. Whom you want to, I know you do. Jerry, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I'm worried about my mother and father. I love them. Well, that's what they're playing on. If they loved you, they'd want you to be happy. But, Jerry, they think they're right. Well, then we've got to face up to it and show them they're wrong. I'll get a job, and tonight I'll come over to your folks' house, and I'll tell them. All right? building and dump it outside. Besides that, you help bring supplies to these machines. Hello, Pop. Whenever one of the operators wants anything, he'll call you. Hello, Jerry. Quit in school? No. Uh, it's a summer replacement, end of June. 
tough when you start in. Oh, I can take it. Yeah. I'm sure you can. I meant to tell you I was coming down here to ask for a job. It's okay. It's okay. Hello, Jerry. I suppose Emily told you I was coming. Yes. Yes, she did. Have a seat, Jerry. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I got a job at the machine shop where my father works. That's fine. It's a summer replacement, but I'll see later about something better. This pays $1.38 an hour, and since we're planning to get married, I thought I should tell you about it. It's a 40-hour week, but there's time and a half for overtime. All right. So... All right, Jerry. But I just want you to understand one thing. If you get into any trouble, I'm simply not in a position to help support you. Well, I'm not asking you for any help. Well, that's what it'll come to. You make it all a question of money. If you care about Emily as much as you say you do, you ought to think about her. Do you want to tie her down to that kind of a life? Do you think she's ready for it? I've said I am. Has it ever occurred to you that you could have a baby by the time you're 18? Are you ready for that, too? You're letting your feelings run away with you. That's why you get so upset every time we try to bring in anything practical. To be blunt with you, I think that's the whole reason you're getting married. Both of you. Supposing we'd stayed here in your house the weekend you were away. You never would have known the difference. And we could have gone on like that, sneaking around. I mean, really being together any time we wanted. But now, when, when we want it on the level, you treat us like a couple of delinquents. You've just shown how right we are. Look, I know how you two feel about each other. But you can't build a marriage on that alone. So what are we supposed to do? Tell us. Wait. That's simple. That's no answer at all. Well, that's the only answer you're going to get. Then we'll go ahead and get married. You'll do nothing of the sort. Well, you can't stop us. She's not 18 yet. She knows what she's I doing. I didn't bring her up for this, and I'll Ellen's let her have it. You'll get her out. All right, I'm going. Jerry. Charles. Charles, let me go. You've done enough. We're going to get married or we're not. It's up to you. Oh, Jerry, maybe we can make them understand. I've got a job. I've done everything. They'll never understand. We can go to Mexico and they can't stop us. Others do it and we can do it too. We'll go on Saturday. We've got to, Em, don't you see? Oh, Jerry, you're right. Yes, you're right. And don't worry about money. I've got some. We'll use that to get started. We'll get a place to live in, and I'll go to work after school or nights till we graduate. They think we're just a couple of kids, but we'll show them. I'll take care of everything. I've been waiting to talk to you. Uh, I need some money. You know what you save for me? Well, it's not as though I'll be using it for nothing. I know you put it in there for when I go to college, but the way my grades are now, I can't make it anyway. And, well, Emily and I need some money now to get married and set up in a place. What do you say, Pop? I only need a couple of hundred. Huh? What do you say?
Gosh, your pop must be having some added expenses nowadays. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. Bye. They're all the rage nowadays. I like these. After all, it's for a lifetime. Thirty-five down. And two dollars a week for three years. All right, I'll take it. I don't know where you get anything better for 70 a month. It's 18 by the week, so paying by the month, you save a lot. Well, if we take a place, can we pay you the month now and then the rent start from Sunday? That's when we're moving in. We don't furnish maid service, so you'll have to keep the place neat yourself. Pardon. And um, be sure the gas and lights are out whenever you go out. Yes, of course. It's very nice. How about it, Em? Hmm? It's fine. Come down and register. I better not pick you up tomorrow morning. Harriet can come and get you, you know. Like you're going shopping, uh, and she can bring you here. It only takes three hours to get down to Mexico, and we'll come back here tomorrow night. You know, we'll be married. Someplace? Yeah. Looks like you're fixing for a long trip. Not exactly. Then why are you packing? I'm going down to Mexico to get married. Hot diggity! But don't you tell Dad till about 11 or 12. I'll be gone by then. Well, where are you gonna live? I got a place already, the Linda Vista Motel. I'm gonna meet Emily there this morning. I bet you're glad to get out of this room. You're glad to get rid of me. It's a long trip. Goodbye. Do you think you'll stay downtown to lunch? Yes. And we might do something afterward. There's Harry now. Bye, Mom. Bye. Oh, baby. What is it, darling? What is it? Honey, look, please don't keep anything from me. It's all right, Mother. Where's Jerry? I heard him go out early. Just out. Going someplace. Want me to tell you? Some. What do you tell you? Nothing much. All right. What do you tell you? No. I'm not supposed to tell you until later. Tell me what? Sam, oh, come on, where's Jerry? Sam, please Time me. to meet Emily. They're going to Mexico to get married. Got their own place. He's gone there now. But how could he? He had no money. What are you going to... 
I'd like to speak to Mr. Gordon, please. Yeah. Uh, ben, Sam Vernon. Did my son come in and take some money out of the savings account? No, nothing's wrong. It's, well, it, he's away for the weekend. I wondered if he got the money before he left. I, I see. Thank you. <clears throat> Jerry, I feel as if we're living here already. We will be in a few hours. Come in. So, this is your place. Nobody asked you. That's right. Nobody asked me. What rent do you pay? Seventy a month. Money's nothing to you, huh? Is that what you came about? How'd you get my signature? I traced it. Do you know what that is? You know what it is to forge somebody's name? The money belongs to me. You put it in there for me. I still have to sign the checks. I'm gonna give it back to you. I don't want anything from you. Not anymore. Be <laughs> back the money. I spent some of it. I bought a ring and paid the rent here. That's all right. We'll chalk it up to experience. Give me the rest. No! That was the first time I ever hit you, but... So help me, if you don't give me that money, I'll pay you. I'll beat you up, Pop. I'm not a sniveling kid anymore, and nobody's gonna talk to me that way. New or nobody, me. I should give me back the money. I'm not gonna let you throw your life away because you can't keep out of bed with a girl. Shut up! Shut up! Get out of here! <laughs> Go on. Keep it. If you want it so bad, keep it. I don't care anymore what happens. So I signed his name. The money belonged to me. Anyway, I was doing it for us. No, Jerry. It's all wrong. This was the best I had, Em. Not very expensive. But nice. Go through with it. You can't back out now. Jerry. Jerry, we're not going through with it. You get away from me. I don't even want to look at you. Jerry, please talk to me. Get out of here.
Never mind, I'll get it. Jerry! To you. you look as if you slept in those clothes. Where have you been? You must be starved. Yes, your father has something to say to you. He was very wrong. Sam, look who's here. You were right, Tom. I don't know if Emily wants to see me, but I'd like to talk to her for just a minute. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Mrs. Meredith. You see, we're packing, taking a trip east. Just about ready to leave. Darling. Hmm? Come on, honey, there's something in here I want you to do. I've got to tell you this. I learned a lot. And it doesn't mean much unless I tell you. I had a lot of different jobs. A paint factory and picking fruit. I've been planning what I wanted to say. Now I can't say it. Knocking around, you meet people. And, I mean, people have all sorts of troubles. They don't get along, or they're lonely, or they just don't know what hit them. And you get to see just how hard it is to make the life you want to make. The way we were going at it was wrong. And I'm sorry. I want you to know that I'm going to study and get into school in the fall. I'm not going to ask you for your address. But if you want to write to me while you're east, I'll go ahead. And if you do, I'll write to you every day. Maybe even twice a day. So write if you want to. Jerry. Jerry, I'd like to give you my address. Mm -hmm. 